Okay, now that you have set up your Seesaw account, it's time to create your first class. So you should get a screen that looks like this. Um, this is just kind of a cute little introduction video that you can watch on your own time. Um, what you're gonna wanna click is create your first class. You'll get a screen that looks like this. Now you're gonna have two options. If you are using Google Classroom with your students, this is an easy option to import your students from Google. I'm going to stick with that option for this video, and I'll cover the other sign-in option in another video. So for today, you're going to click on Import from Google Classroom. After you select that student rostering option, you're going to sign into your Google account if you're not already. What it's going to do is it's going to pull up all of your Google Classrooms that you're currently using. So if you want to set up a class for more than one class, um, you can select more than one option at this point. So if you have different subject areas or you are um, teaching more than one class, you can do that. So what you'll do is select the class that you want to import. It's going to ask you what grade you are teaching. So let's just pretend I'm teaching first grade with this class. So I'll select first grade. If you don't have um, a, a grade level or you have a mixed grade level, you can choose other, just so you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go with first grade. I'm gonna click import classes. So what you'll see here is that um, your Seesaw class is gonna be named just like your Google Classroom right here, and your students will populate down here. So you can see I have some of our, our lovely um, other tech TOSAs here as my students. So they, that is where you'll see your student roster once you have imported them into your class. And then in the future, so let's say that um, you've created your Google Classroom, but your students have not yet joined your Google Classroom. You can still do this process of importing your Google class. So you can still choose that option and you, you're gonna find that option to import students into your Google classroom up here in this little wrench that's like your settings gear kind of um, for that particular class. So if you click on that and you scroll down, you'll see that there's a button down here to import from Google classroom. So if, like I said, you started your Google Classroom just, um, or sorry, you started your Seesaw class and you know that you're going to want to use your Google Classroom roster, you can do this later and then your students are going to populate over here into um, your roster for Seesaw. So again, if your students are not yet in your Google Classroom, you'll still be able to add them this way. Now, I do want to remind you that if you are going this route, what that means is that your students are going to use that log in with Google option. And I'm gonna show you that in a separate video that shows you how students are gonna get into your Seesaw class. This video was just to show you what that import from Google Classroom looks like. 